purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how you act on them. If you haven't yet viewed the Watch Me First video, please do that first as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, folders are storage locations for components that can be acted upon in groups. In this video, we look at system folders, which appear at the top level of each navigational area and are automatically created by NVivo, and user-defined folders, which you create yourself to organise your project to reflect the needs of your analysis. In addition, we look at some of the actions that can be taken on folders, and finally, we look at interrogating folders using a query. Let's start off by looking at system folders, the highest level of organisational structure. Each area in the navigation view has several system folders appearing at the top level. For example, the sources area has four system folders for storing different types of source. Internals, externals, memos and framework matrices. Similarly, the nodes area also has four system folders. Nodes themselves, cases, relationships and node matrices. Different system folders are available in the different versions of NVivo. Check out Chapter 5 or the QSR website for information about which system folders are available in each version. Now let's take a look at user-defined folders. We have freedom in NVivo to create our own subfolders under most of the system folders in order to organise components according to our project needs. In this project, Separate subfolders have been created under the internals area to store different types of primary data, for example, interview transcripts, photo elicitation transcripts, vignettes, and some full text literature files. Similarly, in the nodes area, we have created different subfolders under the main node system folder to organise different types of coding. For example, in the thematic codes area, are stored the codes that we're using to thematically code the transcripts. In the interview topics folder, however, we have codes for organising the structure inherent in the different forms of primary data. Right-clicking on any folder shows some of the actions which can be taken. You'll notice that different actions can be taken on system folders when I right-click from the user-defined subfolders. You'll also notice that the available actions for folders by right-clicking also depend which navigational area you are in. Let's just finish up by having a quick look at how we can interrogate folders. If I just start building a text search query, then you'll notice that we can scope this query to selected folders. So what I'm going to do is type in the search string that I want to look for. Then choosing the selected folders button, I can choose which folders to scope this query to. And in this example, I'm just choosing all of the primary data stored in the internals folder. When I run the query, the instances of the word friend that are retrieved are only found within the items which live in the folders that I specified. For more information about queries, please watch that component orientation video.